Hi, I'm Eshim. Welcome to episode 5 of Dishonored. In the previous episode, we read a lot. Like, really a lot. In this episode, I'm gonna try to break it up a bit. So, I will start off by reading. Yes. Let's read the Journal of Granny Rags. Sure. Excerpt from the rambling, ramblings of a street denizen. Of course I'll tell you, dearie. I won't keep any secrets from you in the end. All the dreary days of my life are like the windows of a house. From the kitchen, I can see out into the garden where the leaves and stalks are brown and buggy. You can see a little lump of dirt where something was wrapped in a blanket and laid to rest along the rows of twisting vines. The front room looks out into the street where the neighbors are all settling the fire to their home, barricading themselves inside. Warm and snug, dearie. Don't forget about the bedroom either. It sees into a dreary alley where hooligans are playing a game with an old man. The first two are, hit, are hitting him with a stick and the girl with them is kicking at his dry old ribs. Oh, to have those bones, to boil them in a pot. No one lives in my house anymore, dearie. No one you'd want to meet. When I lived there with my husband, we were fine, fine people. Vera more, everyone would say. Your house is as grand as Boyle Manor. Better even. Your dinners are lavish and your parties are the best. When that young Sokolov came to paint my portrait, I was nearly still in my prime. Radiant, he said, and he was just barely a man. So young, painting all the best people across the land. Everyone wanted a portrait by his hand. All my friends. I was the only one, dearie, wet with his paint glistening on the canvas for the pretty coin. But it wasn't all parties and paintings, mind. My husband and I weren't always at home, no. We travelled together, he and I, to the far ends of the isles, beyond even all the way to the red cliffs of Pandicia, to dig in the rock and crawl through caves, holding up candles and squinting at walls. Many precious things we came upon, but none so precious as the boy with the black eyes, dearie. All those marks and bones, carved so deep and polished so bright. I brought the old bones home hid them from my dear husband. Then I learned to boil them and carve them myself. They made such good presents, theory. The little mute boy took them home. He loved them so. All the time he came back with new bones for me, holding them up, them up so I could see it in his eyes. Even though his tongue, tongue was still, Granny, his eyes would say to me, carve these bones for me, make me another present. And he went so far, so far, all the way to Dunwall Tower, the royal headsman himself now, my little mute boy in his shiny, shiny sword. Bitter bones were what I needed, you see. Bitter bones to carve and polish, scrape and gleam. My dear old husband was always tired. I made him soup, and then he was sick. Better bones was all, for my little mute boy, carved in the name of the one with the black eyes. And after my husband was gone, given away as birthday gifts, I didn't want to be living there no more. So now I'm old and don't have any. Ma Sorry. So now I'm old and don't have many to give my presents to. It's sifting through the garbage for granny rags and feeding the little birdies that gather at my feet. No one wants to have tea, dearie, especially those rude louts on Bottle Street. Slackjaw and his boys, always meddling with an old woman just trying to make her way. In the end, we'll be together with him. You and me and the dreary night with stars above and below, and always the one with the black eyes, dearie. I don't know why I did the accent, but I started with it, and then I decided I had to carry through with it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go exploring a bit, shall we? Let's see what we actually have to do. Speak to Admiral Havelock. Okay. Ooh, and we... Oh, yes, we need to find a rune. Yes, let's equip the heart. There's a rune. Anything else? No? Just... Blood from the eyes. That's not very good. Uh, is that gonna hurt? Not with Blink. So, now that we have Blink, we can get nearly anywhere, really. Uh, water is usually... What the? <laughs> there we go. Water is usually dangerous, so try to avoid it. And as I say that, I jump in the water. There it is. Yay! Another rune. Play your way. 
The powers you obtain from runes can be used creatively to defeat enemies or move through the environment, blink from roof to roof, possess rats and fish, or slow time before rushing a group of enemies. Yes. So let's see. Oh, oh, oh no, fish. Fish, fish. Stop it, fish. <laughs> I can't get up here for some reason. Um, no. Can I get up here? Yes. Good. We can finally blink. Uh, blink up there, I suppose. Yes, there we go. Good. No, I don't think there was anything there. Uh, the heart. Somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound, and money changes hands. Really? Can we go see? Nah. Below. Is, is there like a basement? Can we get through here? No, we can't get through here. Oh, can we? Oh, look, look. Oh, can't open that either. Such laughter. And then they're singing the old songs, linking arms. But that was from a happier time. What? In the hound's pit? What's this? Books. More books. Ooh, and a cape of teeth map. Ah, coins. Mysteries of Pandicia. Let's read that, shall we? Excerpt from a book on the far continent, Pandicia. At the Academy of Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pandician continent as a place of wonder, where all of life has entwined and blossomed across aeons, producing a vibrant ecology unrivaled in the civilized world. The overseers from the Abbey of the Everyman, by contrast, talk of horror and heresies, of cults of submen engaged in brutal, perverse rituals. The few who have traveled to the far continent and came back to the Isles, those who have actually touched the soil there, have returned with notes that describe vast deserts, deep jungles, and outlandish creatures that defy belief. Once in a generation, a great effort is mounted to build a colony there, in hopes of this someday growing into a port city to rival Dunwall itself. But to date, these attempts have all but ended in madness and failure. Huh. What's up here? Oh. Now, oh. blink fail number one. Trust me, there'll be a lot more. Alright. Ah, trying to push it off. Why would you put a, uh, a whiskey barrel, like, on the edge here? Like, really on the edge? I, I don't get that. Oh, coins! All the coins. Hmm. What's this? Boiler? Yeah, looks like a boiler. Okay. What are those? Are those like... I don't know. Like a way of hanging people? Like, literally, you just put them in a cage and they hang? They don't die or anything. They just hang, I guess. Tibian pear. Ah, litany of on the white cliff. Litany on the white cliff. Okay. Excerpt from a series of Overseers Invocation by High Overseer Abraham, Abraham Templeton. And I say to you, brothers, it is here that we make our stand as a righteous force against the growing darkness. It is here that we unite against the spirits of the unknown that would drag us screaming into the night, never to return to our homes, to our families. Together we will serve as a rod to those who would stray from the herd, for the foggy grey wastes of the outsider. We will burn a bright fire with our virtuous accents, so that others will not lose their way, and to those who choose to wander beyond the walls of our homes, in far places, we will strike at them swiftly before they whisper to their neighbors, filling their hearts with strangeness and doubt. Huh. I felt like doing that in a preaching voice, which is, uh, you know what, guys? I'm going to explore this place later. Do you have space for Samuel then, if you like, but he won't because use it. Because he can't sleep in regular beds. I want to get to some action. It's so been the way too quiet. So let's get to it, shall we? Well, let's get down to it. Oh, see, First he agrees. Off, 
I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To that those sounds ends, good. We'll hide. Act in shadow. Take them apart. Piece by piece. You sound slightly bitter. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. What? But, but I'm not going to kill anyone. Overseers, an army of religious I mean, I already did but kill someone, it, but I'm you, trying not to kill anyone. Your exploits are legendary. Are they? Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal. Because we think it Ooh, contains Emily's diary. location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's yeah. the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Great. Another I shall let you down. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Howe Pits. Martin, huh? An overseer. Wait, you, you really want me to go get an overseer? Rest, You'll need it. <laughs> You'll need it. <laughs> Thanks for deciding that for me, you bastard. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. Corvo. Okay. Hello. I'm Hello. Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, oh, but so this is you. important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason Can for you try to listen not to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter okay. in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And Ooh. I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Uh -huh. Do you think you could protect him? Protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Is it a profession? Before you became an assassin. I'm no assassin. Fine. I kill like one or two people. That does not make me an assassin. That makes me an idiot, but not an assassin. Uh, why does everyone keep saying that to me? Like, you're an assassin now. Let's go, Samuel. Do you think I'm an assassin? Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps saying Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest. Um, I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Okay. But do we even have coins? Uh, wait, how do I... No, that's not what I wanted. Jay? Jay seems like... I have 2,000... Okay, I have coins. Piero. <laughs> I, I really need to do some upgrading. Piero. Wait, was this here last time? Does part of the soul live in the heart? If the heart keeps beating, does that mean that the spirit is never released into oblivion? I can keep a heart beating forever with electricity, but what <laughs> does Don't know. It'd be easier if I created these processes in waking hours. You're I doing it while sleeping? Easy pursuing avenues that emanate from my dreaming mind. I can imagine. A second solution. Didn't I already read that? Yes. That audiograph player just got placed right in front of it. The door to nowhere. Ah, Piero. I already read all of these, right? Yeah. Ooh, Piero's workshop key. What can Piero. I do for you? I need to upgrade some stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can buy a rune. Let's buy that. Pistol upgrade. No. Crossbow reload. That sounds good. I think I'd want to go for optics first, yes. Because it allows me to zoom, which is really useful. Um, accuracy and range would be good, I guess. Yeah. If you can't tell, where I'm planning to use crossbow a lot. <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. Um, bone charm or bolts? Let's go for the bolts. Yes. 
and then actually buy some bolts. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. I can get 20 and yet yeah, I can only get 10. Fine. Fine. A new rune. So can I get anything interesting now? I want blink two when I cast three runes. Spend time, not too interested in it. Well, maybe I am. I'm not sure yet. Bloodthirsty. No, I really want to wait for Blink. Or do I want level 2 of Dark Vision? See in the dark and see living beings through walls, including their fields of vision. Oh, and sound I make. Okay. That doesn't seem bad. But, you know, I already have the first one. I just... I, I want Blink. And... That's great. Right. So, going into some action, hopefully. Ready Let's to go. go, Sam. Just give the signal. Signal! What's the signal? Okay, yes. Ooh, put on the mask. Distillery District. High Overseer Campbell. High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally to the Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal and eliminate him. An ally to the Loyalists, Martin, is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. Uh, so I can't do anything else. I have to allow him to escape. I guess. Oh! On a boat with Samuel. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The city Watch That's still holds good. the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. But I can go over the rooftops. Man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Now everything not controlled by the City Watch. Is a wall of territory. light. Are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags? Oh, it's I heard about nuts. Granny Rags. Yeah, it, it seemed like she was nuts. nuts. Just take your pick. <laughs> All of the above, please. Oh, meat. My meat, not yours. If you decide to go up Clavering, don't let the guards spot you. Okay. Let's see, because I'm getting a lot of objectives. Eliminate High Overseer Campbell, that's obviously the first one. Use the Bottle Street alleys to get around the Walls of Light. Okay. Take the Blackmail Journal from High... Oh yeah, that's the journal. Optional. Spare Captain Kerno. Ah, yes. And talk to Granny Rags. Shall we go see Granny Rags? She is an amazing woman. Let's go. Nearly midnight. But easy, oh. damn it. Keep him in the boat. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. Can I just? Hey, what is it? I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. Can I carry him? I them okay. Myself. Keep working. I'll just dump you over there. Moving no more. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who needs help? Oh, right. Let's see where. Bone charm. Rune, bone charm, rune. Okay, but there's one over there. How do I? Hmm. Oh, there's a woman there. Wait. Is she dangerous? One, two, three. <laughs> Let's make her unconscious. I'm not sure if she shouts Attention, or not. John so let's just leave her here. So she can drown from the rain, I guess. Any citizens are liable to search or imprisonment oh. at the discretion of the <laughs> Search city or wall. imprisonment, yeah. So can I get there? Yes. Now. Uh, I'm not sure I can make that jump, so I'll just blink. And then blink over there. There we go, where is that? Is it up? Yes, it is. 
No. Grab it. What the? <laughs> Grab it. Okay, ah, there we go. Just needed to move up. Jump off. Almost fall down. And... Ah, go no charm. Let's see what it is. Tough skin. Your maximum health has been slightly increased. Eh. Don't really need that. Death in the month of songs. Excerpt from a longer work translated from Old Conan by Anisa Mat Matteo of Circonos. She was shy in the month of hearts, hiding from my scented letters, a sun dappled cure for my loneliness. She was smiling in the month of rain, eating figs straight from the tree, a dream of sailing around the isles. She was wed in the month of clans, to her sailor cousin from Culero, a shrill bird drilling at my chest. She was dying in the month of songs, struck by a disease from the east, a terrible kiss on her distant lips. Ah, uh, so pretty, I think. Cup smash. <laughs> right, let's um get. Oh, just fell down there. Let's see if we can. Uh oh. What the hell is that? Blue jawed hackfish eggs. Okay. Are there any more? I guess not. Okay. Now let's see. What else do we have? There's one over there. It's really close by. Let's go get that one. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our okay. honorable Lord Regent. So, let's this go. is the Lord Regent speaking. <laughs> it is with regret that I announce that my term Ouch. as Lord Regent has been extended cool. through the month of harvest and potentially <laughs> beyond. In addition, in the continuing crisis, the overseers what? of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to Are the you state. You're granny rags, right? To enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We she must have moved downstairs. This looks like a, a, a trap for, I don't know, a, an animal or some such. See, so you go in here and it clamps shut. You know, wait. Send us food, not. not. the. bullets, I guess. Bullets. Sounds nice. Left. You never listen. Oh, no one ever listens. Who are you talking to? I think the little birdies are sad today. Are they? Hello, Granny Rags. Dear. Oof. Is that you, my dear husband? No, no. Uh, I am not. My eyes aren't what they used to be. So I can see. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, I haven't seen any birds. Starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Sure. Can I oh, slowly my, back my, away? My. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way again? I used to. Not the nice ones. Oh. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny rags, okay. granny rags, let us in. Ah oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. What a bother. Use yes, the what key a bother. To the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? <laughs> Will I now? Deal with Granny's gentleman callers. Alrighty. Granny, granny, granny. Let us in, Granny. Wait, I have to loot stuff first. Oh, sleep dart. What? I can so carry more of it. So cloth? What? That's not very nice. How much can Would you look at this? You don't walk in a bottle street looking like that. That outfit must looking have cost like... a lot. Maybe no, I'll let didn't. my girlfriend wear it. What? what? <laughs> um wait. My oh, sleep darts. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> 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 
after I cut you off. There we go. And we didn't kill anyone. Yay! Oh, ah, damn it. <laughs> I wanted to reload my crossbow, so I pressed R. But R uses up a health potion. I didn't want to use it. Damn it! I wanted to hit the bloody rat. Not shoot it. Ah, uh, let's... Let, let, let's put that away before we do anything else. Hello, Granny. I took care I of the gentleman. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Yes, I Listen, am. Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and wait. now I'm giving it to you. I Go wait, on. outsider? It's upstairs. On the vanity. Um, I think yeah. you'll cut a nice figure with it. <laughs> birthday present? how we used to dance. Our we didn't parties dance. were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to here? come. I hardly believe you had dances here. I mean, I where would you, you the dance? Knights go on the left. I don't get it. You never listen. Wait. This wasn't here before, was it? I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's Are you the quick? least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these bottle street children. Ruffians, children. every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. Of course You know is. what I just thought of? You could do uh -oh. something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another Does another present mean another rune? Oh, well. great. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. What? Galvani? No. Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. That sounds Wouldn't lovely. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess <laughs> found its way into the bottle It'd street? It'd be a terrible shame if something were to happen to it. <laughs> See to it, dear. I'll find you another present uh, just like the first. That's kind of mean, now, isn't Mommy it? lives on Clavering Boulevard. I mean, or at least he used to. Those were the. Days. I mean, it's it's kind now, of killing off. them. My baby <laughs> birdies are hungry. So okay. Precious. Hmm. Ooh, cuckoo. Cuckoo. I can't do it, guys. I, I really can't. <laughs> I'm terrible at it. But we can upgrade Blink in the next episode. So, join me next time as You'll I go, do... They won't come. Yes, okay. Bye-bye. In the next episode, I will do the mission for Granny Rags, I guess. And also see if we can get past the wall of light and hopefully kill um, that overseer what was it overseer campbell hi overseer campbell sorry see you next time yeah.